So you now saying, okay, we have a holy communion service. And you just finished fighting with your wife. You just got annoyed because the holy communion is by 12 o'clock. And your wife was trying to tie the scarf. And you came 12, uh, 12 30. You start fighting her. You forgot Jesus. You remember the altar. You remember the timetable. Hmm. So if your wife is tying scarf for the physical uh, church uh, holy communion and make you late, you commune with Christ and remember that he's a woman and she needs to make up. Are you there? Then you have taken your own holy communion by not nagging at your wife. That's hey guy, I'm here again on Truth Market and we have come again to you know, praise up what you started last week. And I believe you are tuned. I hope you are all ready for us today. And how has been the truth market so far? I hope you've been enjoying our episodes. And I would like to let you know that we are excited to come your way again today. I am Divine Susie. And here with me is the servant Dewey Farnacho. So you are highly welcome. Thank you very much. You're all welcome. Right. And also, I want to welcome Brother Chie Dozi. Highly welcome, sir. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, among our viewers, those that have been uh, enjoying our products. Yes. The products. I yes. think how we know that uh, they enjoy the product that mm. we're we'll giving to them mm. is for them to place a comment. Yes. Or share to their friends and relatives. Exactly. So, your feedback is very, very important to us. It gives us joy, and I tell you, we are very, very spectacular about it because it makes us feel like, yes, you are with us, you are enjoying what uh, we are doing, and that you are really gaining a lot. So please, don't forget, don't forget to let us know how you feel about our episodes. And today, we are going to be talking about communion. A lot of people have different views about communion. And communion is something that is universal. A lot of people do it, let me put it that way. If you go to our various churches today, there are different definitions and approaches to communion. Today we're going to be listening to the servant as we interact together and we're going to open our eyes on the real essence of communion, how to go about it and the significance of it and the right way to commune. So the first question I want to show here today is, sir, please can you tell us what is communion? <laughs> Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Uh, you asked me what is communion, but I would have loved you to ask me what is holy communion. Okay. Because if you ask me what is communion, then I will tell you I don't know. Or I'll give you a dictionary definition of communion. However, I pardon you for that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so holy communion, what is holy? Holy is something that is sacred. Exactly. When you're talking about a holy communion, you're talking about um, holy means something that is sacred. And when that um, sacredness comes in, then God gets involved. Yes. Then if we are talking about what is holy communion, then it is not as the religious mm. regard holy communion is what it is actually. Okay. Holy communion in the eyes of a religious person is a symbol and a sign. Okay. But in the eyes of Christians who are not religious. Mm. It is a reality. Okay. Then being a reality means picking the spirit behind the holy communion. Now the first thing we really need to ask to get it down to reality is what is communion? The word communion is gotten from the word communication. Okay. okay. It is not all this bread which they sell in Mr. Biggs and the ShopRite and the, yeah, so many other um, places. And there must be sometimes a wine or zogo or all this uh, drink mm. that is garnished with red. That is not Holy Communion. Mm. 
Okay. Are you there? Yes. In the lips and the hands and the hearts and the hairs of Christians. But because Christianity have been long ago been practiced as a religion, mm. people think that if you don't eat that bread, bread which my wife can bake, are you listening to me? Yes. Then you are no longer a Christian. a Christian. Now, when you go further to ask, why are we doing this? He said, because Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. You know? So you don't take things by the face value. You have to get in-depth meaning behind things, okay. the letter and the spirit. Okay. So communion is gotten from the word communication. Right. Communication gives you what? Communion. communion. So what is communication? Is communication bread? I'm asking. Bread is bread. Communication is communication. So when you are talking about communion, mm. you are talking at the same time communication. Communication is the interaction between two people. When you are talking about holy communion, you are now talking about interacting with invisible beings, mm. which is Holy Spirit or Jesus mm. or the Father. So, now when you talk about Holy Communion, Holy Communion is even done perfectly well. Not in the physical or symbolic form, okay. but in the spiritual form, it is best done through meditation. Okay. Okay. Which we say that what makes the name Jesus to be effective is three in one. Mm -hmm. What you think, what you speak, and what you do. Okay. And the psalmist said, let the meditation of our heart mm. be accepted okay. before. before God. Okay. So in the other words, we can say now, let the Holy Communion, mm. our meditation with her, the God, be accepted. Let the Holy Communion mm. be accepted. So communion with God is not with this mouth we are talking. Either you eat it mm. or you speak it. That is not communion. Mm -hmm. Communion is coming from the in-depth feeling and emotion, which is probably unspoken. Okay. okay. Unspoken through meditation. When you are rehearsing and thinking positively mm -hmm. towards anything or spirit or the essence of Jesus Christ, okay. then here you are communicating with spirit. See, don't forget. In the book of Matthew, Jesus was saying, don't pray like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Mm. That even what, when you think, in, what you think in your heart, even before you speak it, mm. your Heavenly Father have heard you. And in the book of Isaiah chapter 65, when he was talking about the new Jerusalem, the new earth and the new heaven, yes. he said, while you are still speaking, the Lord will hear you. So communication Holy Communion is when you are in deep thought, wow. thinking positively. If you are worried or anxious in your quietude, you are, that is not a Holy Communion. It should be an evil communion. <laughs> so if we have Holy Communion, yes. we are going to have evil communion. communion. So wow. that time you are thinking positively, appreciating God, acknowledging God, trying to communicate with the Spirit into deep feelings and meditation, then you are taking Holy Communion with God. Wow. Did you get it? Yes. Okay. Very, very so the word communion is gotten from the word communication, communication. not this religious essence where a wicked man, a witch, a wizard will go to the altar and take holy oh. communion according to them, then the person become a Christian just because he ate bread that was baked by who God knows who. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, you know this, um, this particular discussion actually needs elaboration. Okay. Because if you watch uh, Christendom, mm -hmm. that means our worldwide, mm -hmm. you discover that the significance mm -hmm. or the importance attached to this holy communion mm -hmm. is very wild. Okay. Like if you go to the book of um, uh, St. Paul, okay. I don't know exactly, okay. but there is a place where he emphasized on this holy communion okay. and where he also let the people know that 
if you take it unworthy, mm -hmm. you understand that the person is going to either fall sick that some people even die. Mm. Don't quote out of context. So. Are you talking about Bible? Yes, which the Bible. Which we, we have read. <laughs> Where did he say that if you take it? Um, I'm trying to recall. But Forget about this. Just quote what you, you are really sure. Okay. Yeah. He said some people yeah. taking the Holy Communion mm -hmm. or worthy mm -hmm. that some have died. Okay. Some are even sick because okay. they took it on worthy. On worthy. Okay. Yes. All right. So now that is uh, from St. Paul. Okay. And then Jesus himself okay. carried the bread. Mm -hmm. He broke it. Mm -hmm. He took the wine. And he said, this is my body, mm -hmm. this is my blood. Yeah, yeah. He that eats this bread okay. will live. Okay. And he now commanded them to do this in remembrance. In remembrance. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, this is okay. But symbolism is different from the spirit behind the symbol. Okay. Jesus was telling them, let me help you a bit. All right. In the book of John chapter 6, starting from 25 down to 64. Mm. Now, Jesus was telling them that he is the bread of life yes. and his blood is the wine. And whosoever take this shall live forever. Yes. That Moses, manna fell for he from heaven mm. for you and they ate and they all died. Now, this one is my blood and it is my flesh. Yes. Have you seen it? Yes. Now, the one which they ate was the same bread. But Jesus is trying to explain that it is not as physical mm. as that of Moses. And the one your ancestor ate, and after eating, they all died. Okay. Now, if we now attach this Holy Communion to this bread, which of course you know is not the, the flesh of Jesus, Exactly. Right, okay? Yes, yes. That is a symbol. Now, if we attach it to there, that means Jesus wouldn't have said that that which Moses the ate, forefathers. the forefathers ate, he wouldn't have condemned it. Okay. But Jesus is symbolically trying to explain that that Holy Communion is meditation upon the Word of God. Okay, in that regard, what is the significance of him and the disciples eating Taking together at a round table? At a round table. And he, he passed the cup from one person to the other. So if it is not all about the physical bread, yeah. there was a significance of that eating together. Thank you. Thank you. This is it. Okay. Now, I raise up my hand. Did you see my hand up? Yes, sir. I did like this. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, I said... What? What is the significance of me raising one of my fingers up? I'm giving an indication that it is one. Maybe you want to pick something here. Yes. Eh? yes. And I tell you, I raise up my hand here. If I raise up my hand like this, will you come and take my hand? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? If I raise up my hand, you want to pick something and I raise up my hand like this? Just I'll just pick one. Pick one out of that thing which I'm telling. Exactly. That is the significance. So Holy Communion is trying to let you know that Jesus is talking about him, the word of God, which he speak. Then when you look at this thing, then you remember the word. That is the reason, in fact, this book of John chapter 6 is the most confused part okay. of the scripture in the time of Jesus. Because they all gathered and was querying him. Look at this man. His blood and his flesh. Mm. Maybe he has gone out of his mind. They even wanted to even stop are you, are you, are you, are you listening to me? Yeah. So, so many of them left him. Exactly. So many quarreled. And Peter said, the disciples were like, wow, this is very, very difficult. This is very, very difficult. Now, it was then that Jesus began now to explain in reality the significant, as you say, okay. the spirit behind that symbol. And he goes to John chapter 6, verse 63. He said, no, 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 no. The word I speak is not flesh. It is a spirit. 
flesh profited nothing, mm. but the spirit quickened. For the word which I speak, they are spirit and flesh. So don't think it is my physical flesh. Okay. Don't think it is the physical bread. bread. It is the word which I am speaking that is the significant, that is the spirit. And whosoever believes in it, whosoever follow it, whosoever eat it, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 3, he said, I ate the word of God and it was as sweet as a honey. So now you should have told me when Jeremiah said that, everybody coming to church. In fact, we should convert Bible to honey mm -hmm. that everybody who comes will begin now to cut a part of the Bible and eat. <laughs> and I say, why are you eating it? He said, because Jeremiah said he ate the word of God and it was as sweet as honey. honey. Wow. You understand? Yes. So Jesus now told them, in case you people, because Jeremiah came before Jesus, mm. in case you people now religiously start looking for my flesh to cut and eat, or another person's flesh to cut and eat. No, 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 no. What I'm saying, flesh profited nothing. Physical things profited nothing. I'm talking about the spirit. And that spirit which I'm talking about is the word I'm speaking, mm -hmm. not this physical flesh. So the word Jesus was speaking is that bread and what? The wine. It's the wine. Okay. And then the blood. I mean the flesh. Mm. Okay, let me explain to you in a way you'll understand it. But did you get this now? Yes. yes. Now, there is divine will and the will of men. Okay. And this divine will is universal. Okay. And it is spiritual. Okay. And it is everywhere. Mm. Now, divine will is the essence of the Holy Spirit through the word of God, spoken word of God. Yes. So a man's will is different from the divine will. So now, when you think on your own will, you commune with yourself. Okay. okay. When you think on the divine will, you get yourself soaked in the essence of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So, just like what is said in the book of John, Chapter 7, verse 37, 38. Those who are thirsty sure. should come and drink this living water. Mm. Now, this living water, where is it? Symbolically, living water is the word of God. Now, when he says, eat this bread in remembrance of me, then he dipped that bread, bread, bread. into the wine. Mm -hmm. That bread is telling you, soaking it that, that wine is the word of God, the essence of Holy Spirit, okay. just like living water. Then dip yourself, body, soul, and the spirit okay, inside the word. the word of God. Wow. Okay. That is the mystery of the Holy Come. Communion. Dip yourself, soak yourself inside the word of God so that it will ferment. So your, you as a person mm. is the bread. The flesh, the, the water, the blood, blood yeah. there, or the wine, or the water, is the word of God. So get yourself soaked mm. into this word of God. Wow. Then he ate it and gave to all of them. Just like washing of the feet. So washing of feet is just proving the significance there, spiritual essence of it is service, okay. love, unity, and oneness. That's why he washed his feet. So when you begin to focus attention on later, not on the spirit, you become religious. And later kills. Yes. And religion also kills. So in each things which Jesus did, be it a parable, be it a spoken word, be it a symbolical manifestation, be it a parable or whatever, then you have to know the spirit behind it. Understanding the spirits behind it makes the difference. So holy communion and commun with God, communion with God means your body, your soul, and your spirit. Let me still tell you in a related manner where Jesus speak spiritually the essence of holy communion. The book of Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 and 38. Okay. It happened that they were asking him what is the greatest law and what should someone do 
to get into the kingdom of God. Mm. He said, love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your spirit. And loving your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your spirit, then you use that love to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm. Then apart from this, there is no any other law, there is no any other prophecy. So in this manner, Jesus did that Holy Communion to let people know the importance of meditation. In the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 to 9, Joshua was saying, meditate upon this word day and night, for there lies your prosperity. He come in verse 9 and say, haven't I warned you? In the same manner, Jesus saying, doing this in, in remembrance of me. Haven't I warned you? If you want to prosper in whatever you do, what do you do? Then you have to meditate upon the word of God. Okay. So the Holy Communion is a meditation, a heartfelt meditation. On daily, on daily basis, concentrating upon the word of God. Then at that point of your quietude, According to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah said that in your quietude lies your strength. Mm. In that point of meditation, then you are communing with God. So, us, the New Jerusalemites, who are the living saints, we meditate and commune with God at all points in time. Nine. Do you know, actually, you just gave us the. <laughs> you know, she's amazed. It, it, you know, yes, this is one yes. thing she's amazed. Actually, I gained something yes. too important on the soaking of that yes. bread. That bread. Is yeah. Very yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I get what I'm saying. Right. Now I know our viewers is interesting. They will understand that yes, exactly. they have capped it all. Yeah. Soak no. yourself in the word of God. Yes. It's the, the pain of that bread in the, the in, in the, the water. Oh. This is you. This is the blood. So you have your flesh. Hmm then the blood is the blood of jesus you don't have your blood shed mm. then this is it dip it there in the living water in the word of god in the holy spirit be baptized mm. just like what we discussed about baptism mm. baptism means taking a bath the baptism of the holy spirit yes. Take, means Take. the word baptism is gotten from bath taking in bath yes. so the baptism of the holy spirit have you ever been baptized by the Holy Spirit and they say pour something upon you? No. Now look at it there. This they are interrelated. Just like the case of John the Baptist. The baptism of the Holy Spirit and the water baptism. Mm. The baptism of the John Holy Spirit was the thing that ushered in Jesus Christ okay. into the world which G, John the Baptist called John the Baptizer, mm. based on the instruction given to him by God, okay. that you continue baptizing, then anyone whom you see a dove perch upon and stay, mm. that, that is the Son of God. Oh, okay. And as soon as that happens, that's the end. Okay, didn't continue you didn't continue You don't supposed to continue baptizing as long as you have found that, that sign that the Son of God... Wow. Is this person mm. Jesus Christ now John the Baptist or John the baptizer mm. ended there John the Baptist is was not John the deliverer That's true. are you there it was the baptizer which did only with symbolic essence of water baptism okay. then when Jesus Christ came water baptism ended Holy Ghost baptism continued mm. That's what he was telling them in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, from verse 4 to 8. He said, from hence onwards, you have to wait in Jerusalem. When the power from the on high, which is the Holy Spirit, mm. comes upon you, from now onwards, you will no longer baptize by the water, yes. but you will baptize by the Holy Spirit. So the, this water baptism and Holy Ghost baptism mm. is analogically the same with this Holy Communion. Yeah in a religious sense symbolically okay. and holy communion with the holy spirit okay which when they misunderstood they thought they would continue in the way of john the baptist mm. jesus said no you people have to wait in the 
okay. in the okay. Jerusalem. Okay. From now onwards, you people will be baptizing with Holy Good. Spirit, which made Jesus himself never to baptize. In the book of John, mm. chapter 4, verse 2, it was recorded that even Jesus himself did not baptize. So the water baptism ends as soon as Jesus was baptized. Was baptized. Wow. It was significantly for that purpose. But today, religion took it up and now claim, like people in Roman paganism, that if you are not baptized with water, then you are not a Christian, you are not going to heaven. Mm. So many people have been intimidated with that. Are you listening to me? Exactly. Now that even the people in Pentecostal confusion or Pentecostal madness are now saying, okay, is it by sprinkling of water or by immersion or by judicial or by whatever shun or whatever shun? Now, that is a confusion. Are you listening to me? Yes. What Jesus is interested in is in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm. So when Jesus was talking about dipping his blood, his flesh in the blood, mm. it was still a symbol which many disciples left him that this man is a confused man mm. how could he be just like so many people in religion will start, start saying now that yes we are confused how could you say what jesus said now they left him you can imagine what made people to leave jesus now jesus they say this is a hard teaching when they said this is a hard teaching, all of them left. Peter came back. He said, Guy, why won't you run as they ran? Jesus said, No. You have the word, not bread. Mm -hmm. You have the word of life. And Jesus was telling them, when they were asking him to give, him, give them sign, he said, The sign you people are going to receive, you are not going to see it. So the bread, Jesus categorically, in verse 20, 63, begin now to differentiate in case. Okay, you people think it is a... Uh, in case you people think it's my physical body I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. That's why he talks about flesh now. Okay. That the word which I'm speaking to you is not flesh. It is a spirit. Okay. Flesh profit nothing. That is to say, mm -hmm. if you continue eating this indomie or spaghetti mm. in the name of uh, what <laughs> in the name of holy communion yes then you are not going anywhere okay what is needed of you mm. is the spirit to commune and communicate with the spirit of god of god okay honestly the 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 breakdown here is fantastic and it is deep down the soul but I still have some arguments because of our audience out there. And that is uh, coming from First Corinthians. Not arguments. We don't argue. We explain. We analyze. You have observation. Okay, you have to okay. references. When you see two people arguing, you are seeing con two confused people. <laughs> okay. Are you there? Argument is in, not in the contents of the word of God. Okay. Scientists don't argue. Okay. Everything is provable. If somebody is not able to prove anything, mm. then there is no need saying it. And when someone is able to prove something, and to whom he is proving, he's saying no, it must be this way, then that's where argument comes in. Mm. So okay. you are putting on your observation for clarity, yes. not for argument. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, because thank if you say you. it's for argument, from... that means even if I tell you the truth, exactly. you will still argue. So I was coming from the angle of the audience. Okay. I'm not speaking for myself because okay. the understanding really went down well with me. Okay. But I am speaking for someone out there okay. that want to say, no, I have an argument. I'm arguing over this. Yeah, okay. Yes, that is where I'm coming from. From. Okay. Yes. Now, First Corinthians 11. If you look from 27 to 34, yeah. Somebody can come up to say, okay, uh, if you say that um, the the symbolic or the symbolism mm -hmm. of the the dipping of the bread mm -hmm. into the wine mm -hmm. was the commune with the Holy Spirit to soak yourself in the Word. Yeah. Then somebody will say, okay, why did Saint Paul still emphasize on that particular? Jesus breaking the bread okay. and then he said that if you take this thing mm -hmm. unworthily mm -hmm. he said some people because of it they have died some are weak some have you know some are sick mm -hmm. so now 
are you saying that it is not right for people to take communion, like the practical aspect of it, yeah. that many, in fact, all the churches are practicing today? Okay. Uh -huh. My question is, are you saying it's not right for them to maintain the practical aspect of it aside the spiritual application? Application. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, in the book of Hebrew, chapter 6, is saying, let us no longer be talking of the repentance and the baptisms. Let us go to a weightier matter and discuss something that matters. Okay. Now, all these things now, they are religiously trying to bring in this Holy Communion mm. you want to insist on. Now, this Holy Communion, they are doing it because they do not have any other thing spiritually okay. to showcase. They have time. It's just like me now giving you a calculator mm. or asking you what's your name, Susie. If I ask you what is your name, you don't have to begin to tell me um, the history. I am 30 something years old and uh, this is it and uh, Susie is S-E-U-S-S-Y. <laughs> you go ahead to tell me that my name is Susie and that's all. So those protocols they are observing, mm. they are using it to ignite, to know if they can use it, one, to buy time. Okay. Two, to deceive the congregation so that they think that there is something going on there. Mm. Wow. Are you listening to exactly. me? And keep them busy. Mm. But if you are truly busy with the Holy Spirit and really know how to contact and commune with the Holy Spirit, you don't need that. Okay. Then that's St. Paul which you are saying in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Mm. What Paul is saying there, remember, don't take it unworthy. Okay. What is that meaning of unworthy? That means the purity of the heart. In the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 8, it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, mm. for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall commune with God. Now, St. Paul is saying, don't take it unworthy. Yes. So, if you must do that, do it in a clean heart. Okay. If you have the time. You get what I'm trying to say? Do it in a clean heart. Just like the issue of tithing in the book of Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Jesus now came and told them, I'm not saying that tithing is bad. Okay. But I'm telling you that there is way to matter. Something more than that. More than that which is mercy and justice. Yeah. You understand? So now if you capitalize on tithe, which two they still have capitalized, both in sowing seed and tithing in the churches today. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yeah. Then they leave the weightier matter, which is solving problem without involving money. Hmm. You see? So what we came is to clear all this religious symbolism. I'm not saying if you want to me I I, I, I can sometimes I buy I, I buy something related that is very close to that uh, Holy Communion it does uh, things those things they print the living, bread. Uh, the living bread I used to I buy something like that and I eat but not exactly that but I will start from now even buying it and eating okay is it buying you concentration buying it in this whether concentration if you want to eat food don't you pray all this consecration. <laughs> when you say in the name of Jesus, Father bless this food, what is that? You have consecrated. You have consecrated it. Okay. So that's what I'm telling you. Okay. But if you say in the name of Jesus, you have consecrated, you have done it in the name, in remembrance of the name Jesus. But that is nothing. Okay. If your heart is not pure. Okay. So but what St. Paul is saying, do that when you are worthy. That is to say, if I want to take you people for picnic okay. and we want to catch fun, are you listening to me? Now, I can bring that in and every of us eat. But if you don't eat it, it does not mean that you have missed anything. It is not a conductor of the Holy Spirit. Of, of Holy Spirit. Okay. Because some, it has, it, some persons have made it look like, like uh, I, I went to a program mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. and they were sharing communion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my first time being there. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, I don't know the witness here, I don't know 
the spirit behind this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all eyes were on me, and mm. they were like, you, you have not taken communion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it now looked to me, mm. at the end of the pressure, yeah, yeah. I have to go and take. Because it now looks as if I am the only sinner and the devil here. <laughs> okay, have you seen it? Yes. One, you have taken it on worldly. Two, let us look at this Roman paganism. People in Roman paganism, in the villages, if you are not taking this bread, they can ban you. Fact, they can ban you from taking. It's a punishment that can give you a punishment. Tell me because you, I think if 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 uh, if your if your father is not a cat kiss, he's very close to being a cat kiss. Tell me. We felt so guilty. Yeah. But what we educated to know in cat kiss. Okay. Was that that bread of taking holy communion mm -hmm. is being one with Christ? Okay. So that time we were told that we were seeing it that uh, this holy communion you're talking about was seen as something so sacred mm -hmm. that you can't even come close to it. Mm -hmm. That is from heaven direct. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, even if you yes. take it, you are in heaven already. Mm -hmm. You are God, and mm -hmm. Christ has become. Mm -hmm. We never knew. You know what happened was that maybe you are done with baptism. Mm -hmm. The next thing to confirm is taking second. Uh, so have, have you seen the? So the we the, never knew anything. Yeah, yeah. Have you have you seen the? And if you are not taking any Sunday, you didn't, you didn't take it. You believe you are you are you are a sinner. You have committed a sin. Yeah, yeah. And it's only when you go and take that communion yes. that evidence that you are holy. Have you seen it? Yes. yes. Do you understand? Yes. Now that is that demonism, which they left the weightier matter, just as I quoted Matthew twenty three twenty three. They left the weightier matter. This is the still reason in Roman paganism. Are you there? Yes. When somebody is sick, they don't call a priest to come and pray for the person to receive healing. They will be waiting. When the person is to breathe the last breath, they go and call a priest. And say, give, let's give and say, let's give him sacrament. sacrament and holy communion. Now, these things are palliative. A deception. To humanity because the duty of priests is not to give a dying person holy communion the duty of a priest if he must be a priest of the holy ghost is to go and heal somebody who is sick hmm. are you listening to me yes so this is why jesus was saying in the book of matthew chapter 15 verse 5 6 that you people have used the doctrines of the church and the doctrines of men to make the word of God of no effect. Wow. So today, all these things called Holy, Holy Communion, this is the real and original Holy Communion. That's why we have not lack, falling sick, whatever you call spiritual problem, come not to us. Why? Because we don't believe in that physical blood, uh, blood, bread, but we believe in communing and communicating with God. So whatsoever you do, I told you people the meaning of altar. Altar is spelled A-T-A-R, which is wrong. It should be spelled A-L-T-E-R, something that alter your conscience. So when you become a living consciousness of Christ, a living consciousness of Christ, that before you think, you remember Christ. Before you speak, you remember Christ. Before you answer anyone, so in, in any situation, you remember Christ, that means you are totally at all, at all time communing with God, with Christ. So what do you do in remembrance of Christ? What is the meaning of remember? Remember is making somebody a member again. Okay. Are you getting it? Yes. Do this in remembrance of me. So now when you now taking that Holy Communion, as the custom demands, as pastors demands, as general overseer demands, for the fact that you are afraid that you might be banned by the community, then you now go and take the Holy Communion, just like you who took it under duress. Are you communicating or doing it in remembrance of Christ or remembrance of the people that were looking at you? That is what St. <laughs> Paul was yes. saying. Don't do this on, in an unholy manner. So to a large extent, anything you take and say in the name of Jesus is a holy communion. Wow. That's right. Are you there? Yes. So it must not be shaped in that form. 
I might choose to go, let me believe that uh, the, the, the red, the wine is natural, which is not even. There are so many fathers use it to drink alcohol. Some, even some is alcoholic, except that wine, some of Okay, use alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, Zo alcohol. Uh, Zobo is a soft drink. I want to talk of that. Okay. I might choose not Zobo. Okay. I might take Kunu. Okay. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yes, in the name of wine, in the Holy Communion. Yeah. And that is all. So whatsoever you do, and remember, I told you the word remember means making somebody a member again. That is to say, Jesus is saying, when you are eating food, eat it in remembrance of me. Let me be a part of you. Let me be in your consciousness while you are eating food. Mm -hmm. Then that is a Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. Then if I'm communicating with somebody, and the person gets me angry and I don't react badly, then I am communing with God, not directly with the person who has offended me, yes. but I'm communing with God because I remember that Jesus said, love those who persecute you and love your enemy. That is a holy communion. When I remember the word of Jesus Christ in any situation, I am communing with God. Wow. Mm. This is the perfect explanation of do this in remembrance, in remembrance of me. So always remember, always remember oh Jesus God. Christ. So you now saying, okay, we have a Holy Communion service and you just finished fighting with your wife. You just got annoyed because the Holy Communion is by 12 o'clock and your wife was trying to tie the scarf and you came 12, uh, 12 30. You start fighting her. You forgot Jesus. You remember the altar. You remember the tiny table. Hmm. So if your wife is tying scarf for the physical uh, church uh, holy communion and make you late, you commune with Christ and remember that he's a woman and she needs to make up. Are you there? Then you have taken your own holy communion by not nagging at your wife. That's why we have the prayer of the cross which says, Jesus is my father. I will do and behave like him in all situations. So anything you want to do, you remember Jesus mm. and do it rightly as he would have done it. Mm. You are taking Holy Communion. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, I love that. You have cleared all clocks. <laughs> so that means um, Holy Communion is not necessarily the shaped bread yeah. and the red wine. Yeah. Anything you decide to agree on and proclaim the word of God over has become... Not even proclaim. You don't need to talk. Remember. Remember. He didn't say say. Okay. He said remember. Which is your heart. Mm. Okay. Which is your heart. your heart. Remember. So immediately that consciousness of Christ comes to you. Mm. Then that is it. You know, I, 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 there was a time I was saying this way. I asked, children's bicycle, how many tires does it have? Two tires. No. It's three. No? It's three. The one in the front, two at the back. Yes. And the children's uh, uh, okay, uh, yes. uh, uh, bicycle has four tires. Okay. But it's called bicycle because by means two. So a child begin to ride a bicycle that has four tires, which is now a car because it has four this thing, four tires. Then when that child begin to grow mm. and attain perfection, you remove that. So it is madness for a whole general overseer to begin to conduct giving people holy, com holy communion. You should have bypassed all those things and know how to connect God directly. Mm -hmm without passing through the protocols. Are you listening to me? So if people should take Holy Communion theirs, so there, it shouldn't be for those that have become Christians. Mm. It should be those that have just are trying to wow. understand. Yeah. Because when that child now learn how to learn how to drive that bicycle, the two tires will be removed. Then he can drive with two tires instead of four. Why children use pencil is not for anything, but because they are prone to mistakes. That can easily be erased. Yes, that can easily be erased. You know there is a cleaner, mm -hmm. an eraser. Yes, sir, yes. 
Yes. At the end of every this thing. Yes. So why they are using it is because they are. We know we can. They can make mistakes. So let them be writing and cancelling. Let them be writing and cancelling and writing and cancelling till they get perfected. When you come to grade three, mm -hmm. they give you biro. Yeah, yeah. By then they know that yes, you have already perfected. Mm -hmm. So why should we in this twenty first century? still after 2020 20 years still be talking about the issue whether you take bread or not it's because there is no improvement in religion yeah. there is no promotion in religion now you tell me that god is omnipresent omniscience and omnipotent omnipresent means that god is everywhere then it is that one sunday i came here that i, I had an encounter with god i commune with god, I commune with god. you can see such madness you can see such limitation. <laughs> I remember in one of our discussion, I think it was in, in service, Sunday service, we were saying that a day can never be special. Mm. Yes. A day can never be special. What can be a special is a year. Yeah. After 365 uh, days, that word you heard on a particular day, let us watch whether you are going to leave it. Within that space of time. Within that space of time and a stretch of time. If you keep to it, then you can call that year a special year but not just as you had something today you take it after three days you say wow today is my special day <laughs> after three days what happened you forget you it, forget it. Fact, just like it. what is happening in the so-called uh, white wedding okay uh, a girl will say wow today is my happiest day <laughs> today is my best day in the life yeah. now if today is your best day one year three years into the marriage you go to court and divorce somebody then that day you made special is an error mm. it should have allowed the, mar the marriage to go for a very long time before you say since i married this man this is a special man for me because for a period of 10 years we have never had any fracas mm. so if you make a special day a particular day special that means after that day you are going to kill somebody hmm. so this is what people do not understand i said it i think in business class your, your success is not godly until it become a constant and you have not succeeded in life until success become a constant oh, for you exactly. are you listening to me so a day is not special that's what i'm telling if god is everywhere you can't it's not only in the pulpit that you see god it's not only in the pulpit or that bread that particular one minute or two minutes that is not when you commune with god you're supposed to be communing with god at every point in time so that is answer to your question of what saint paul was saying don't take it on worthy powerful do you know powerful. I, I want to come in a little bit because when we are victims okay no one was too tender, you know, we were told that immediately we arrive and taking Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. This is when we have become Christians. This okay. is when we are one with God. Okay. And invariably, that first day we received that commun Holy Communion, mm -hmm. we, were we felt very holy. Holy, that's for one day. For one day. We okay. Did, next time, no, what we are told, if you sin, mm. you, if you lie, mm. or if you cause your fellow human being, you have committed a sin. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the confusion we had as we began to see the process. Yes. Okay. Today, I will go and, I will go and collect, receive Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow I'll quarrel with my friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will be suspended. I will think, okay, the, the, the soft landing they gave us was to go for confession. Yes. Okay. If you confess, then we will come okay. tomorrow immediately go and collect Holy Communion. Okay. Yes. We now understood that there are ways to escape and to get back to Christ day by day yes, and exactly. time by time. Yes, yes. So oh, we are just placed hang that way, that Holy Communion is the only way you can have contact with God. Okay. We are not even told, told about this meditation. Word of God, meditation. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Never about yeah. It. And you remember clearly that even you when you were taking holy communion you were still a smoker in that time i'm no longer i was no longer okay you were you were active in a, a smoking in a no 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 in, in a I don't want to mention religion, yeah. in a religious world. Yeah, yeah. in Roman only, paganism. Roman paganism. I was already off. The doctrine of my own yeah. life, you know. Uh, because yeah. I knew that is what I was saying. Today. Yeah, money in a butchering sometimes. It's normal. Okay. To us. Okay. We smoke. Okay. We drink. Okay. I get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But those days, what we are saying is that when I understood that, uh, I was deceived. Uh, because I can go back 
and receive Holy Communion and come back again and still do water because I have chance to go and confess. Yeah, to and it's Monday so to it Friday. No longer, I, 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 uh, have you I seen this? So you people have been commissioned. Yes. To sin, and the worst part of it is that those that are giving you Holy Communion can't even scan you, mm. because if it were to be people like us, mm. if you come, you must fall in the altar. No, they they are not even <laughs> scanning. They <laughs> they give. We you will be able to see you, see <laughs> what you ate, and directly. They give that you guy, You don't. You are not qualified. They are the same people that absorb you when you come for confession. Okay. When you sin from Monday to Friday yeah, yeah. or Saturday, okay. you come for confession, they absorb you okay. and tell you that you have been forgiven. Okay. Then you, 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 continue you, again. you maintain holiness in Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately after com uh, communion, yeah. you can follow your girlfriend to her house. <laughs> so and we are all just like that. People are living yeah. that way, even up till now. Okay, even up till now. Yes, have you seen it? So they left those things as a destruction to humanity, just like what I said, calling somebody to pray and give somebody bread so that bye bye, you will die. You see, you see the murderous nature of things. So if we understand that God is omnipresence, then there is nothing with all this rubbish. Yes. And he whoever gives this rubbish still depends on your heart. If I give somebody just an apple, spirit will run into it. Because the heart is pure. I pass a current through that. I told you a story of you people yesterday. I was watching uh, this in a, 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 a YouTube. I was watching, uh, yes, deliverance, a spiritual deliverance. And the, when a man of God stretched his hand, the children. children fall. Now, my daughter was asking me, Daddy, is this real? Is this real? real? I said, okay. You, you want to know whether it is real? I say, stand in front. Uh, she stood in, in the parlor. I know I was in my room. I say, stand in the floor. She stood in the floor. I stretched my hand. I say, be firm so that you don't fall. When she stood, I say, in the mighty name of Jesus, she fell off. I say, come up. I said it again. She fell off. I say, hold yourself so that you don't fall. She kept on falling. Till the mother ran from the another room and came and said, what is happening? <laughs> I said, your daughter want to do experiments yes. to know whether what they are doing is real. So the essence of God, we have to be a carrier of Holy Spirit mm. at all times. You can see what is happening in embassy. When you come for deliverance, counseling and deliverance, to some, they will give you three days fasting. When you finish the children's fasting, I don't know whether they lay hand on people or not, or they tell you to pray yourself out or not. Mm. But after that three days fasting, they will now tighten up their beds like, wow, you have done something. See? Mm. They now do the so-called deliverance. Okay. But in the embassy of the New Jerusalem, I can pray for somebody while driving. I can pray for somebody. So many of you called me by 12 o'clock, which you have once called me. Call me by 12 o'clock, by 1 a.m. If I come here, if I have a service of deliverance, next two minutes, I might not even remember that I have anything because we are bulldozer. We are light. Immediately we see Satan, he begins to run away. So the mistake you will make is to come to the church. Mm. Not for me to give you, give devil a chance to say, okay, go fast for three days. Now I read Psalm 35, you know? And all that and all that. So a man of God, a child of God, must remember Jesus in your thought, in your word, in your action. And that is Holy Communion. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. This is amazing. I believe somebody is learning. You know, and I know some people still believe in this. Those days we were told that this communion mm -hmm. is Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in fact, even a particle of the bread, mm -hmm. like if it drops on the floor, that the area will be covered with the blood. Uh, no no, no so, problem. I'll, I'll buy it for you in small shop rights very soon. <laughs> you know, before you said uh, you were once a man servant. Yes. Okay. It was when I, my eyes began to open was when I became a master. servant. Now I was close to Them. the wine, mm. the, the normal okay. meat. Yeah. Because we can even eat it. Okay, outside, outside the service. Yes. Okay. So I now understood that it was not so, so as I took it before. Exactly yeah. It was a normal bread. Have you seen it? So, 28 laws of truth say that truth is an open secret. 
When your consciousness begins to awaken, all this drama they are doing in churches and religious dogmas, you overgrow them. Yes. Are you getting what I'm trying to yes. say? I said this someday. It was not government that stopped slavery. It was awareness. Slavery was not stopped because of government. It was awareness. Men began to become conscious of the fact that these white people that are chaining them, they go to the toilet, they eat, they die. Gone can even kill them. If you slap them, they will say, hey. Then, when they come to get the black slaves, the black slaves will gang up and get them arrested and kill them. Then slavery stopped. That's how it stopped. Now, when I was in primary school, you too, when you were in primary school, I was looking at red pain as something nobody can touch. It was so special. It's only blue pain I know that a student can hold. Yes. But when growing up, you know, you find out that you can buy and mark anything you want to mark. <laughs> wow. You understand? Yes. So consciousness, why we are awakening people now is that a point will come and now is. Yeah. The book of excellence is coming out. Mm. When people will go to church and ask a pastor, a general overseer, explain this thing you have been hiding on. You know, I said the definition of ignorance. Ignorance is an unexplained truth. Yes. When you are doing something without any result to it, just like what my father said, he said, The word I speak is not flesh, it's a spirit. So all the words that attach the name Jesus come in, and it is not productive, it's not creative, you cannot stop somebody from being poor, if you can't stop somebody from being sick. He cannot heal any person. He cannot solve a family problem and all that. Then that means that it is flesh. Do you know that there are so many divorces that are taking Holy Communion? Maybe. Maybe. In fact, Do you know that there are so many divorces that are giving Holy Communion? Yes. yes. Do you know that there are divorces that are pastors? Yes. In fact, we had an experience. Let, let me, can I share? This, <laughs> before we, we run, allow, allow to, to, to really be. drive home what you are yeah, saying, yeah. we... we Okay, Taz, let me not mention the name. Yeah, don't finished. mention the name here. But we, are, we are destroying a system. A system. We are not condemning the sinners. Yes. We are condemning the sin. Exactly. We are not condemning people. We are condemning a system which yes. is called religion, upon which all this nonsense was built. Exactly. Are you there? Yes. Yes, we are condemning it and correcting people. Exactly. We don't condemn people here. So we noticed that in, in, in one of our particular uh, places of worship, there is always a day we, we call communion service. And um, each of these days, there are people that come beforehand, before the service, to prepare it and all of that. So on Faithful Day, some group of us, we engaged in a serious uh, prayer. Yeah. And while we're praying, our eyes opened. We got a serious revelation that the people coming to prepare those things were agents, marine agents. And once they come, they finish, they pollute it. And when they bring it to the church, it was causing Shishu, a lot of havoc. And the man of God couldn't factor where the that thing was, was coming, coming from. from. Yeah. He himself couldn't preach where. Members were just, everything was scattered until that revelation came. So immediately the prayer was, merely they took it off from there. It was another issue. Okay. So that was where people came to realize that, wow, so they have been taking serious is it cause to like put your yeah. them or pollution yeah. yeah pollution yeah you see and that is why some people stopped taking okay from that day right so that is to say that what the servant is really trying to let us understand or know is not like actually to buy bread and bless it and eat it strong but the spirit behind it okay. a lot of things are going on in the body of christ the, so the, the spirit is wrong completely he, not completely it's wrong in the sense that the, the way the, 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 you have made the word of God okay. of no effect because of tradition of men. And Jesus is saying, if this your hand, Matthew chapter 5, mm. will lead you to hell, cut it off. Okay. So just like what is saying, a person who is like, if it were us now conducting our holy communion, I'm telling you, not even that somebody who prepared it is unholy. Mm. But I'm telling you that if anybody who wants to come to the altar to take anything must be spotted by the Holy Spirit. Exactly. 
But to tell you that those that are giving it are just giving it for ceremonial purpose, purpose for religious reasons, yeah. for dogmatic reasons, are you there? And to buy time as well. You see how we have been talking? Yes. A man of God won't have anything to say. Mm. So, what is he going to do? He will bring that Holy Communion service, bring a day of uh, speaking in tongues, yeah? bring uh, this one, bring that one, and bring that one, and pile all of them. And in each of those things, even if it is not on Sunday or on Thursday, there must be offering. For sure. There must be offering. So those things are curriculum, just like universities. When they get tired, they begin to create sociology, anthropology, and uh, different funny, funny... Logics. Uh, yes, <laughs> logic department and all that. <laughs> Why? Because uh, people that are coming to study are more than the structure on the ground. So they need money. Accommodate yes. Ground. If you go to school now and study sociology, what are you, where are you going to work in Nigeria? <laughs> I'm asking. So these are the things. Let us go to Waitia Matter. Yes. And make Christians to become 247 conscious of Jesus Christ. Remember. Amen. Remember. Jesus. Make Jesus a member of your thoughts, a member of your words, a member of your actions. Action, decision. Your relationship choice. with people, your business. Anytime you're doing business, you remember Jesus. I think that is the Holy Communion. Thank you. Hey. It's a wonderful Amazing. Word. Amazing. We really appreciate uh, the servant for this wonderful section and we are truly grateful for opening our eyes to what the Holy Communion truly stands for. And that word, do this in, in remembrance of me, he really analyzed it, he nailed it here by making us to understand that this, do this in remembrance of me, is simply just trying to let you know that you should make Jesus Christ a member of whatsoever you are doing your thoughts your action your decision your relationship with people once you remember jesus before doing anything before taking any action you recall that oh if it were this man jesus would he do like this that is the true communion soaking yourself in the world continually that is the essence of it, not necessarily the physical thing. I hope you have learned today. I hope you are blessed. And I believe that this has brought a great transformation to your life, wherever you are, wherever you worship, knowing truly where that is not all about the bread. You go about doing whatever you want to do, then on a particular day you decide to be holy just to take the bread. You're just wasting your time. Let Jesus be a member of your thoughts. Do this in remembrance of me. So we come your way again some other time. And please stay tuned. I don't know whether you are feeling what I'm feeling, but I am blessed. How about you? I'd like you to drop your comments in the comment section, okay? Share with us how you feel, how you understand it. Let us know your observation as well. We, we need your feedback. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. Remember to share to your friends and loved ones. Visit our YouTube channel. And don't forget, we have our laws of truth. This is it. This book is wonderful. I don't stop talking about it because it is so rich. There are so many things to learn from in this book that God has given to us as a gift, as a treasure. You need to find what is here so that you can become versatile, not just versatile, but rich in everything. So please, visit our website in case you need one. And I bet you, you'll never remain the same. Thank you. We'll come your way again. I am Divine Susie.